Years ago, I used also in Excel 2003 the so called pivot chart wizard. So let me just show you this tool by adding this to my quick access toolbar. This was a kind of step by step way to create the pivot tables. And except for using pivot tables on uh, Microsoft Excel uh, tables, you could choose from here the external data source for your pivot table. What might be the external data source? For example, the access database some SQL queries or OLAP cubes, but you had also an option to consolidate multiple data ranges. Imagine a situation where you have in different worksheets, different years, like the worksheet 2019, 2020, 2021, and you want to consolidate the data to create a pivot table on all of the uh, worksheets, then you might uh, have needed the uh, consolidation. But uh, I'm talking about this be because all of these options are not valid anymore. And as we can see, the pivot chart wizard disappeared from the interface of Excel. There are some other uh, options to create a pivot table based on an external data source. And from here, you can uh, choose another connections or browse for more data sources, which might once again be more complex elements like databases, ODBC connectors or any other elements. But from my perspective, all of these elements are not valid anymore because right now we have Power Query. The best way to create a pivot table is to get data on the data tab, create queries uh, within Power Query by which you prepare the data for the whole process. Like I'm connecting right now to my sales workbook. You can do plenty of more things uh, when transforming the data, but at the end of the query, you can always close and load the query to a pivot table report or straight to a pivot chart, which is very similar. You can also use the data model, but this is uh, connected with the next lesson, Power Pivot, and the other course that you can find in the academy, as well as the Power Query course, uh, which is uh, also in there. What is the advantage of creating a pivot table like this? Your workbook doesn't store the data twice. The data is stored only inside a pivot table cache. You don't have anything more inside just the pivot table itself, and you can easily refresh all of the uh, queries just by hitting refresh all. If you don't know Power Query, watch the next uh, video, my animation about what Power Query is about.